Thistle Bay Council have been served a plant health notice by the Forestry Commission to remove the larch and the sweet chestnut infected by Phytophthora. Phytophthora is an airborne spore disease and you have to remove the infected plant to stop the spread of the disease into commercial timber operations. Unfortunately it's not you can't avoid felling all the trees because it's the only way to stop the, fell, the spread of the disease and when it gets into the commercial forestry operation it can have quite significant financial impacts. As, as the work progresses the, the larch and the sweet chestnut will be removed whilst we're trying to retain any trees that are not impacted by the disease. Species like ash, oak and beech will be retained as best as possible. Due to the structure of the woodland once the larch and the sweet chestnut are removed, natural regeneration should be quite prolific and lots of natural species will start to come back into the woodland. So at this time, no replanting is currently planned. It's been estimated that over 2,500 tonnes of timber are going to be removed during the works, which is anything between 1,000 and 1,500 trees. Torbay Council has instructed their of our cultural company to carry out the works. Um, and the duration of that is likely to take six to eight weeks. Uh, Jamie Buehler from Highline Contractors uh, will be taking this forward for us and making sure the works are completed by the end of March this year. My name's Jamie Buehler. I'm the Contracts Manager for Highline Contractors. We've been instructed by Torbay Council uh, to carry out the, uh, the timber removal, the felling works here at uh, The Grove and Bald Cops in Churston Ferrers. Um, we have a 14 tonne uh, swing shovel harvester in place as well as a team of uh, hand cutters. Um, we'll be felling the larch and the sweet chestnut from the woodland. The harvester will uh, clamp the tree straight away and it will then, a saw head comes out and it will fell the tree, the tree falls over, it will then lift it up um, and then send it through and process it, removing the branches and the limbs uh, and cutting it into lengths. Uh, we're cutting 10 different length, size lengths at the moment for, for different uh, sawmills. Uh, once the timber's uh, cut, uh, it'll then be extracted out of the woodland. Um, our stacking point is about a quarter of a mile from the point of cut. Um, and from that point, it's then um, removed from the site by uh, articulated lorries. Timber's fairly low grade, so um, it will be used for uh, garden furniture. Um, but also a lot of it will go to for biomass or local power stations. We've, health and safety is obviously paramount. Um, we've closed off as many footpaths as we can. We've put signs in place. Um, the cutting team will work in compartments so they've got good visibility so they can keep their eye out. Um, we've got banksmen in place as well. Um, but we try and keep the area, the felling area, fairly small and compact so we have got the good visibility so we can keep an eye out for wood dog walkers, walkers and other people that use the woodland. Um, we plan to work five days a week um, so hopefully the weekends will be, uh, everything will be open for, for people to use the woodland. Highline have their own in-house ecologist um, who will be doing a watching brief throughout this project. Um, she'll be making site visits uh, once or twice a week um, looking for any evidence, bats, uh, badgers, other wildlife. Thank you.